I mean, just look at all the toppings that come on that burger. They definitely don't skimp on the cheese. I mean, look at this. Hey, what is up, Sacerat viewers? I wish I had a better nickname to call you guys. If you have a better idea, write it down in the comments. I'll send a gift card to whoever comes up with the best one. Anyway, today we're on our next stop for our burger tour, and we are going to Five Guys Burgers and Fries. guys so we have picked up our five guys burger um, as i mentioned earlier five guys is originally an east coast burger chain uh, it is one of those mid-level chains i would compare it to shake shack in and out burger stuff like that though five guys has been expanding they do have some locations in california there are some in the middle of the country but primarily you see this burger chain up and down the east coast of the united states so right here i got their double cheeseburger uh, I got it all the way. They have a ton of menu options as far as toppings go. All the way generally includes lettuce, tomato, mustard, ketchup, and sauteed onions. I did leave the mushrooms off for my bur off this burger because I'm not a massive fan of the mushrooms. But that is what we got right here. You'll notice the size of this. These are pretty good sized burgers. Um, Price-wise, these things, they've gone up a little bit. I remember being in Five Guys as a kid and seeing signs on the wall that said, you know, they have a lot of newspaper articles about the restaurant chain that they hang up in their restaurants. And I remember seeing signs there that say, best burger under $5. Well, they're not five bucks anymore. They're running about $11, $12. If you want a drink, if you want French fries, you're gonna pay about 20 bucks for them. Um, so having said that, they're not the cheapest option on the market, but there is a big difference between these burgers and say a 99 cent burger that you're gonna get at McDonald's. If the double cheeseburgers at McDonald's are even 99 cents anymore, I don't know. I can't tell you the last time I ate McDonald's. Anyway, let's take a bite of this and uh, I'll let you know what I think. Right away, these patties are super juicy. Um, when you order a burger at Five Guys, the, the person taking your order turns around and calls back the number of patties in your order. So those patties go on the grill the second you order it. There is a bit of a wait when you get the food there. They give you an order number. You might stand around for five, six minutes, not that long. But they cook these burgers right at when you order them. And they cook them with, with fresh beef. Um, They're absolutely fantastic. As far as mid-level burger chains go, this is my favorite one that I've had so far. Um, I like them better than everything else. I, I think they're they're better than uh, In-N-Out for sure. I know that's a very div divisive opinion. Some people are team In-N-Out all the way. Other people are team Five Guys. Actually, I'd like to know what your opinions are. If you guys could write down in the comments whether you prefer In-N-Out or Five Guys, I would really like to hear that. I mean, just look at all the toppings that come on that burger. They definitely don't skimp on the cheese. I mean, look at this. Uh, we've got tons of bacon here on the bottom. You see it's kind of falling apart on me right now. But uh, there's tons of bacon on here. we got the onions, uh, big old slice of tomato, and me. <laughs> I love my mayonnaise, so there's definitely mayonnaise on there. Again, for all you haters, I don't care. I love mayonnaise. All right, guys, I want to stop for a second, and I want to bring today's video sponsor to your attention. I know these things aren't the greatest, but I've got to put it in here for at least a couple seconds. And know that I don't recommend anything that I don't use personally. Now I will get a commission on this, but I pay for this out of my own pocket every month because I love this service so much. And I'm talking about TubeBuddy. If you have a YouTube channel, if you make YouTube videos, or even if you have a website and you need a good way to look up keywords, TubeBuddy is the way to go. And best of all, you can try TubeBuddy for free. I have a link down in the description that will take you to the TubeBuddy page. You click on that link, you can try their free trial. If you sign up for their service using that link, I will get a small percentage of that. It will help me keep creating videos. But guys, I'm gonna keep this real short. If you want a great way to make sure that your two YouTube videos are being seen, or if you're putting up web content and you wanna make sure that the keywords you are using are good keywords, then TubeBuddy is definitely the service for you. All right, guys, let's get back to the review. Okay, so right here, it's a small five guys uh, Cajun French fry. Now, you might look at this, Mick, that's a really tiny French fry. Why would you order something so small? Why are they serving something so small, especially in America where everything is gigantic? 
That's because they give you one of these. And unlike every other fast food restaurant that I've been to that's like a mid-level chain, they don't have trays there. You get everything in a bag. They will throw this in the bag and then dump a shit ton of fries on top of it. So you will have pretty much a bag filled with, where's this one right here? Right here with French fries and this if you order a small fry. So like pro tip guys, if you go there, unless you are like a huge French fry person, get the small fry because the large ones, they're gonna fill half your bag with French fries as it is. Um, the French fries at Five Guys, you guys take a look at them right here. They come, they have two types. They have regular and they have Cajun fries. The ones I got are the Cajun fries. There is a bit of Cajun seasoning on them. I'm not sure if that's gonna come through on the camera. The seasoning itself kind of tastes like gum. If you ever had chicken wing, like Cajun chicken wings, the dry rub that's on them, that's the type of seasoning that's on here. Similar to Old Bay, but it doesn't taste like Old Bay a lot. There's just a couple of the same spices in it, so I always kind of get that flavor when I eat them. Um, the cool thing about Five Guys and their french fries is that the french fries are all made from fresh potatoes. They have the bags of potatoes it, like stacked in the restaurant, right next to the free peanuts, by the way. You get to eat peanuts while you wait for your burger. But they have the bags stacked up, and uh, they usually have a board in the restaurant that says, you know, these potatoes come from such and such farm because they source the potatoes out. Um, I believe they do it locally, though I'm not 100% on that. I'll put it on the screen somewhere because I'll look that up when I get home. When you go in, you can see exactly where the french fries come from. And these things are cut with a, with a cutter right in the store. They're fried right in the store. They're seasoned. They go right in your bag. So as far as french cut fries, because of where they source the potatoes and the type of potatoes they get, they're not the soggy french cut fries that you get a lot of places. They're actually pretty crispy. Uh, they got a crunch to them, just like fries are supposed to. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I've been to a few restaurants where you get fresh cut fries and they're soggy. They're not crunchy, they're not crisp. That's not the case with, with Five Guys Fries here. You'll notice like there's no, there's no sag, there's no wiggle. These things are crispy and they are crunchy and they are quite, quite good. All right guys, if you're finding value in this video right now, I want you to please go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications so you can see my future videos. Every one of you guys is subscribers I care about personally. Uh, it's awesome to me. I love knowing that there are people out there watching my videos and it really helps me grow my channel. So please, if you guys could just take a second, hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it.